Hey you guys, it's Joey. I'm here to do an outfit of the day. An episode review of Real House of New Jersey Season 9 from Turkey with Love, Episode 10. Um, I'm not doing an outfit of the day, but I am going to show you my outfit for today. Um, I have on this sequin pink pa jogging pants, as you can see, with um, sequin silver sequin Uggs. So, yes. So, from the top, it was just a plain gray, but, you know. I do have on a nice outfit today. Um, this time, I don't know if you guys can see that. Okay. So yeah, from the top you think, oh well, you know I'm not wearing a nice outfit because look, I just have a plain shirt on. But from like waist below, from the waist below, it is nice. Oh, this is tangled. Shit, everything is like tangled right now. Ah. Oh. Nothing's going right today. My hair's a mess. My lips of the day is Christmas cookie by Jeffree Star with a cotton gloss on top. Well, let me say that again because that was really fast. Christmas, uh, Christmas cookie by Jeffree Star's lipstick of the day with the cotton gloss on top. And um, perfume of the day is just you to New York. And then cream of the day I'm putting on to the Dolce Red Milk Kits right now. Okay, so this episode from Turkey with Love wasn't the best, but it wasn't like bad either. Like, I don't know. It just was, it, it was the slower episode of the season, which, listen, not every episode is going to be, like, balls to the wall crazy, but I mean, like, you know, I'm, I'm happy that there was an episode break where there was, like, not much drama. There were still interesting scenes, but it wasn't, like, anything crazy. Um... Oh, just gotta rub it in, girl. Sorry. All right, so let's let's do this episode review now. All right, let's get into it. <clears throat> so, so the first scene I'm talking about is a scene with Frank and Dolores. They are going, um, they're flipping houses, and they're doing a scene flipping a house or something. And Frankie, their son, comes in, and he is so amazing he is everything he's so good but anyways he basically tells his father like you know um you need to treat my mother with more respect and then the father goes well did you want for anything I'm like what does that have to do with what does that have to do with cheating on his mother he's telling you you need to respect her and that's it that's it doesn't matter what you what you gave them or what money you gave them what whatever you need to respect the mother. All right. However, the boat line clear as day because they're both probably fucking and, and they're probably, but you know, I don't even know. He probably they're, they're probably like already remarried for all we know. Okay, so <clears throat> basically, the next thing is Teresa and Jackie meet, and Jackie Jackie tells Teresa I don't like the way you came at me. Oh, it was funny because when Teresa first comes in, Jackie gets up to hug her, and Teresa's like. Hmm. I'm gonna go get a smoke coffee. And then Jackie just sat back down and thought that was funny. Anyways, so Jackie tells Teresa I don't like the way you came at me at um, Marge's house when we did the mud mask. I didn't like that. And then Teresa goes, well, you pissed me off. And then Jackie goes, well, you threatened me. You said I'm only here for five seconds. You want to make it to ten like that was a threat. And Teresa's like, no, that wasn't a threat. I just was upset that you brought up my father, my, my father, my children's father, because they're, they're struggling right now. They're really going through it. And, like, that's, you know, that's not nice what you said. Like, that's not cool at all. That's really messed up. Um, then Jackie tries to tiptoe around it. Like she did with with Jen's article, like oh I only tried I only wrote it in good content. She tried to do it again this time. She goes oh well you know I said something complimentary about you. Like I I said you're so strong. Like if a woman could control her husband, then it would be you. Jackie, stop. Stop. You're basically. You could lie being a blonde at this point. Like, like everyone sees what you said and did. It's on camera. So just don't lie about it. You know what you said. You know that's not the context you meant it in either. So she's trying to sugarcoat it. Um, then she tells Teresa, oh, you know, my father went away for six months. And, you know, my mother had an ankle bracelet on. We used to laugh at it. I mean, that's not what you say to someone. It's not like, 
you go, oh, you know, my, my mother died and, and then we just left at the funeral. But then her, Teresa's mother just died and that's just not funny. Do you get what I'm saying? Like, it's like, it's like you don't talk about something that's sensitive and be like, well, we just laughed at it. Like, Teresa, like anyone else is going to laugh at a situation like that. Like, no one's going to laugh at their mother having an ankle bracelet on. Do you get what I'm saying? <clears throat> but I don't know. She, at the end, Jackie did apologize and say, listen, if I offended you, I'm sorry. I will never bring that up again. Um, so Jackie did redeem herself at the end of the scene, but throughout the scene, she just was sugarcoating everything. I don't know. Jackie's not my favorite. At this point, out of all the housewives ever in New Jersey history, Jackie's probably my least favorite, to be completely real with you. But, you know, she's not, like, bad. I just don't like the, the tiptoeing around her. Like, like, I don't like the things she's saying and doing and then lying about it. Like, just be upfront about it and that's it. You know what I mean? Oh my god, this is happening in every video. I am so sorry. I'm sorry, guys. That's happening in every single video. I try to blow my nose before the video starts, so when the video starts, like, it's not like I'm blowing my nose, but, like, I still need to blow my nose. I'm I'm so sorry, guys. I really am. Because I know if I'm watching a video and someone did that, I, I, I wouldn't like it, so... So anyways, Ter Teresa goes, yeah, yeah, Teresa goes in the confessional. Well, you know what? Let's see how this little game is going to play out. I guess she's referring to after the vacation because we know a lot of shit happens on the vacation. Um, but that was what she said on her confessional. Okay, and then the next scene, Teresa meets with Frank and little Frank to work out because Frank, um, Dolores' ex-husband, um, or husband or whatever he is at this point, is tell is is coaching Teresa because Teresa's coach lives far away and she needs someone to coach her, and he's doing the job. And um, little Frankie's there because he's also entering the competition. Um, so you know he he was he was looking really good. And um, Teresa, Teresa, listen, I work out. I go to the gym now, and like I never go to the gym with makeup on. I just listen. You know I love my makeup. I I wear makeup every video. Like makeup's my thing, but like. I won't go to the gym with makeup on. I don't know why Teresa, maybe because she's filming, but then again, like, why are you going to the gym if you know it's going to sweat off? Unless you feel like you're not going to put a good workout in that day and the camera's going to be there, so let me just still look good with makeup on. But, like, I just think the makeup's unnecessary. Like, I don't know. I don't know, I thought that was weird. But, um, you know, he basically tells Teresa, he goes, you need to lose another 12 pounds. I, I'm, I'm an expert in this, but Teresa is skinny as hell. So 12 more pounds, I mean, Jesus, I mean, what do you want her to look like? A fucking, a fucking, like, what do you want her to look like, guys? Like, I don't understand. Like, do you want her to look like this? Like, do you want her to look like my eyeshadow fucking brush? Like, what do you want her to look like? Like, I don't get it. <clears throat> so anyway, she goes to him. She goes, well, what if that doesn't happen? that I lose 12 pounds. What happen, What happens if that doesn't happen? And Frank goes, well, then I'm going to ask you to walk off the stage. I don't know. That was... That was shade. Anyways. So that scene ends. Um... Oh, uh, what else? Okay, so then Jen goes to Turkey because um, her brother got arranged, not arranged for marriage, but he met this girl and if he didn't like her, they wouldn't have gotten married, but he did decide to like her and he was, a, he, they, they arranged him to meet her and then he decided he did like her and he's 45 or whatever, so he's like, let me get married to her. So he's married to her, he really likes her, right? So there, she's in Turkey celebrating the wedding. He's only known her for two weeks. Um, but anyways, they're, they're there, and then Joe, Melissa, Antonia, Little Joey, and Gino, the whole five of them, go out to Sugar Factory in the city to celebrate Joey's birthday, the little youngest son. And the Sugar Factory they go to is the one I go to. I love that Sugar Factory. But anyways, Antonia basically goes, I want to be like, Mommy, I want to own my own boutique. And then Joe goes, well, then you're going to be living off scraps. You won't even be able to afford a pair of underwear. So be like me, don't be like your mother, basically is what he's saying to her. I don't know if he was joking or if this was for real, but I don't know why he would he would he would joke about this and then I don't know why he would be serious about something like this. Um why would he 
I'd rather him joke about it than anything, but it's still not funny. But I think he was being serious, and then Melissa's like, listen, I'm getting offended, and you know, I'm for Melissa. You know, I'm not always for Melissa. But this scene, I am for Melissa, and this is when I lose Joe. I'm sorry. I like Joe, but I lose him when he says this shit like this. I'm sorry. He, I'm sorry. It doesn't make you look good, Joe. It does not make you look good. You do a lot of things on the, on the show that, that does make you look good and you're likable, but this is not one of them, and you constantly do it every season. I think someone needs to tell you to fucking stop because it's making you look really bad. It's just making you look really bad. So I, I would just stop that shit. Please, please, for love of God, someone tell him that. Please, because he's looking so bad. Anyways, um... So then Melissa and Jack, I think, go over to Marge's, and Marge, Marge basically tells them that Danielle texted her saying, you know, I'm, 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 I don't know about you. Like, I don't understand why you talk all this shit about me. I don't like the way you acted at in Bimimi. I don't like this. And the other thing, and then Marge texts her and goes, texts her back and goes, listen, I'm done with you. Don't talk to me again. So basically they're beefing again. They're fighting again. Whatever it is, it is what it is. I don't think they're at this point ever going to get along. Danielle did did um admit on Watch What Happens Live. By the way, she was on Watch What Happens Live with Lindsay Lohan. I was like, oh, that's a duo, right? Lindsay Lohan looked like she was... She didn't look good. I don't know. She just looked drawn out and, and worn out. And then the way she was acting, I don't know. She was just acting like... I don't know. She was just saying things off to... to I don't know. She just was... She just was not acting right. She was acting like she she was doing something or some or she wasn't she wasn't all there. I don't know. You have to watch the the Watch What Happens Live episode. I don't know. She just wasn't acting right. She just was acting very weird, and um, just saying things that were just I don't know. That there was just no filter, and she just was being weird. But um, Danielle did admit like you know the way I acted in Big Mimi was horrible. You know it was, and I apologize. Looking back at it, it did look really bad. So I appreciate that. I do appreciate that. I think at the reunion, she probably says it at the reunion too, because they were filming the reunion the next day. So they had already filmed the reunion. But, um, I don't know. Like, I'm, I was for Danielle for saying, admitting to that, because it did look really bad. I mean, she was, she was, she was, she, you know, she was overreacting. And then, you know, Marge, Marge really wasn't doing anything to Danielle. So it was really fucked up what Danielle was doing, you know. Um, but anyways, so that's past. Dolores is a charity for a family. It's a very beautiful charity she does. She raises this charity because they're, it's this family that's homeless or they don't have money or something like that. Or they, they don't eat or whatever. So she just, this they did this, she did this charity for them that basically there was a bunch of food. There was like, you could get your nails done and everything. There was this just whole big event that she did, which was amazing. Um, I feel like every season she does a really nice charity event. I think last season she did something for the animals. So, Teresa came, Jackie came, Marge came, and I think Melissa came. Jen was still in Turkey. And Teresa tells Marge and everyone that, oh, you know, Jen's in Turkey right now, and, you know, she's celebrating her husband's wedding because he's getting married um, to this woman that he's only known for two weeks. But she wasn't saying it in a bad way. She just was saying, listen, she's, he's only known her for two weeks and they're getting married. My, my father only knew my mother for two months, and they knew they were in love. And Marge goes... Oh, that's too fast. It's because he's 45, so like, let's get it the fuck over with. He, she's a male order bride. He's on his last leg. That's torturous to not know what what his sex, what the sex is like before they get married. Now, what happens if she's a dud the night of the wedding? I'm like, Marge. I'm like, what the fuck? I'm like, in your situation with Danielle, I'm for you, girl. But in this... I mean, ooh, I mean, this sh I don't know if you just have no filter and you're just talking fast and you weren't thinking before you were talking, but if you thought before you spoke, I think you wouldn't have said that because that was, that was just, that wasn't right. But then Teresa says in a confessional, she goes, you know, I don't like what Marge is saying about Jen. You know, it's not cool. She shouldn't be talking like that. Um... So anyway, so then Teresa, the, the very last thing, Teresa has lunch with Dolores and Jen at her house. Because Jen is finally back from Turkey, and um, Teresa basically tells Jen what, what Marge spoke about her brother, basically saying she's a male or a bride, and he's on his last leg, and oh my god, and the sex life is probably horrible because he doesn't know how she is in bed. Um, and then Dolores goes, you know, Marge and the others probably don't understand the old school tradition of us. 
I mean, listen, it's not like it's old school. Like, I get. Like, that's her culture or whatever. Do I, it's not that it's outdated. I just think that it never should should have existed. I don't think it's right to arrange someone for marriage. Personally, for me. I'm sorry, Jen. I just don't. But um, Marge was 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 just throwing insults that were just was too much. Like, the last leg, and he's 45, and oh my God, and she's a male bride. The whole thing, she just was being very rude. But I do agree in some respect what Marge is saying. Because, like, to be honest with you, I don't agree with the way she's saying it, but, like... I don't think that that's the way people should get married. Like, I get, like, he, they didn't force him to get married, but just to arrange someone to meet someone. Like, oh, this is what you... Because I've had that many times. Like, well, you're gay. I know someone else gay. You two will love each other. No, that's not how it works. Listen, I think it should never have existed. I think that you should meet someone and that's it. I don't think you should arrange someone. You could arrange someone for a blind date or something, but just to arrange someone for marriage or whatever, I just think that that's way... I just think that should never have existed. I'm sorry, that's just, I just think that's wrong. But, um, but that's their culture and it is what it is. I mean, no one can stop it. And that's just the way they were raised. Do I think that I would not do that if I was in that culture? No, I wouldn't, I would not do that. I would not be arranged for marriage or arranged somewhere. I wouldn't do that. That's just not me. I'm, I'm a free person and I will choose and I will see who I like. And that's just what it is. I also agree with Maj, to, to the actual respect that I need to know how a guy is in bed before I, I marry them. Because she's right. What happens if you are into something a certain way in bed and they don't like it and then they don't please you enough and then the marriage doesn't work because of that? You know, sex is a very important thing in a marriage. If it's not important to you, then full, by all means, get married before you have sex, whatever. But for me, I need to know what he's working with, if you know what I mean. But, um, listen, whatever, it is what it is. So, um, but then Jen goes, which she is right about this, because Maj has a lot to say about arranged marriages, but she cheated while she was married. So, she really shouldn't be talking about ma marriages, and Jen definitely brings this up, which I don't blame her. She goes, listen, she's so liberal, she's so proud of a cheating scandal, if I was a part of that, I would not be proud of that. Oh my God, I don't know why she's proud of something like this. So yeah, um, listen, I'm for Jen. You basically hit Jen below the belt, so Jen's gonna hit you below, below the belt. So you have to respect it, Maj, at this point. If you're talking about her brother being married and stuff like that, you, she's gonna talk about you being cheating. I mean, it's a tit for tat. You know, it, two wrongs don't make a right, but you said something, so she's gonna say something about you. And that's just how it is, you know what I mean? Like, I would do the same thing. I'm like, you're not gonna talk about me and my family when you're cheating on your husband. When you cheated on your husband, you're cheating on your current husband, when you cheat on your past husband. So yeah, so, but that was basically the end of the episode. Uh, the next episode, what happens in the next episode? Oh, a lot happens in the next episode. Oh my God, they go to a wine tasting event, a wine, wine country, and a lot of drama happens. Drama happens with Danielle and Marge, drama happens with Marge and Jen, and then drama happens with Jackie and, and, and fucking Jen. So there's a lot of shit that goes down next episode. So that's going to be a very long episode review, so stay tuned for that one. Um, but that's the end of this episode. It was good. It wasn't like, oh my god, but it was still really good. Okay, so I'm going to film. I don't know if I'm going to do it now. I'm going to do it after. I have a date today. So I don't know if I'm going to... F I know it's not arranged. No, <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, but yeah, I have a date tonight. But after the date, I'm probably going to film my Bath & Body Works, what I'm going to be using up in hand soaps, candles, and pocket bags for the year. So that's what I'm going to film tonight. Later on tonight. So this episode review will be up tonight, and then that episode, and that episode, and then the video with me tell, talking about the candles and hand soaps I'm going to use up for the year is going to be up tomorrow. I love you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, if this guy, because he still hasn't hit me back yet. Oh, I'm halfway there. Oh my god. Oh shit! I have to get back to this guy because I told him, listen, I want to meet up with him a little later because I'm, I was running late. I'm gonna say no, I'm coming. Um, I'm gonna say is eight good. Like, what should I say? Is eight good? Maybe I should just call him. I'm gonna do that off camera. I'm gonna call him right in front of the camera, girl, because I gotta shut the camera up. But man, I wasn't expecting this message. Oh my god. Maybe someone should arrange me for marriage because I can't fucking find the right guy for me. So maybe I should have someone arrange me on a date. Because I can never seem to find the right guy. Because now he's, like, canceling on me. 
<sighs> Anyways, <laughs> see that's karma because I was talking about Jen's culture and everything, so that's karma. Anyways, I love you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, stay tuned to my channel because, as, as I said, there's a lot of videos coming up. I'm going to do a Jeffree Star collection video. I'm going to do a lot of videos coming up on my channel. I did do the Beth of Iris collection video, so I hope you guys saw that. I liked it. You know what? I, I had fun doing it. It was a project because you know how to keep running back and forth, putting stuff on the bed and stuff. But, you know, it came out nice. I, I liked it. I liked it. It was probably one of my better collection videos. Anyways, I love you guys and bye.